But I want to get to my top 10 LSU games of the decade. A lot of decade lists coming out, so I thought I'd take some time to to do this last night. And it was fun to kind of go back down memory lane and think about all, some of these games and some of these seasons and some that probably some people forgot. I kind of threw it at some of my friends last night in a group text and a guys like, I have no recollection of that game whatsoever. I was like, well, it was one of the best. So we'll see. And I'll, Shay, I'll get your thoughts kind of as we roll through. We'll go 10 to 1, 1 being the best. And it's subjective. I use best with little quotation marks there because you know it's whatever you think is best but I, I kind of went through these and wanted to run them by you so I'll start with number 10 um, 2016 against Ole Miss Leonard Fournette runs for 284 yards and three touchdowns against the Rebs he set the LSU record in that game and Darius Geis had 16 carries in that game Leonard Fournette goes for 284 yards on 16 carries and that was his statistically the best game he ever played. Do you have any recollection of that game? Or is that there, yeah, I remember game? that game. It Clyde was, had a game. What game was that this year where Clyde had like six carries for like 300 yards? Or, it was A&M? A&M. That sounds right, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, that is actually exactly I'm over here Googling best LSU games of the decade just so you're not <laughs> slipping up. <laughs> no, I, I think that I've got them all covered. I had one that got brought up that's not going to be on the list that I thought was pretty good, but I still think that these 10 trump it. Number nine, I've got 2004 at Florida. Uh, Colby Delahousie from 50 yards to win 30 to 27. You remember that one? That's the one that one of my buddies like. I don't remember that game at all. You remember Delahousie hitting a 50 yarder to beat Florida at the Gun? What year did you say that? 2014. Was? I thought you said 04. I was like, do you have a grip on what a decade <laughs> is? What are we... No, 2014. Delahousie hits it uh, from the. Was that a lot. fake field goal game? Nope, because that one's coming up. Okay. Spoiler alert. Uh, number eight. We'll stick in 2014. Um, 7-0, and number four in the country, Ole Miss, comes to Tiger Stadium in 2014. LSU was down 7-3 to with 10 minutes left, went 95 yards on 13 plays, and hit who to beat Ole Miss that night in the back of the end zone? Was it a short... What year was it? What 2014. Year? Anthony Jennings is the quarterback. Ole Miss is undefeated, number four in the country. Was the game. LSU rushed the field that game. I don't Trey Quinn. No, nope. it wasn't Trey Quinn. He got carried off the field that game. Yes, he did. I don't know who is it. Logan Stokes oh, in the back of the man. end zone. <laughs> Little play action well, dump the, off. I was. I'm not good there because I was still thinking of my previous game. I'm moving slow this morning. Was that where Ricky Jefferson like picked it off and then Delahousie hit the field like the walk off? That must have been that year. Yes, that was same year. Yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah, same year. That for the, for the, for the number. Nine. Are we so, just living in fourteen right now? You got we the did. Others? We did. That, we're done with twenty fourteen. We're going to move on. That wasn't right. a very fun year to watch LSU football, but those two games were good. Number seven. This was an awesome game, and I was standing right next to you when the the play know, of the game happened. Twenty thirteen LSU Arkansas. There's six, some pictures six, out there. Six minutes to play. LSU's down twenty seven to twenty one. Mettenberger hits Landry with that ridiculous catch with one hand through the guy and tears his ACL. So Jennings has to come in with three minutes and four seconds to go. LSU, I, I've forgotten this. Three minutes to go, LSU got the ball on their own one-yard mm-hmm. line, down by six. On well, nine-nine and, yard yeah, drive. And, and no, Jennings hits NBD. Traven Doral for a 49-yard touchdown with a minute 22 to go, and LSU wins 31-27 to in the uh, final. That's my number seven. That yeah, game there's, was crazy. there's some pictures out there uh, yep. circulating. Of, you, were, you were going nuts. Uh, I wouldn't say it's nuts. I wasn't being very professional, you know, but uh, the, the look on Hunt's face staring is the, one it of was, those, like, get out. Like, I had a just, perfect sight line because Jennings throws the ball, and I look, and I turn, and Doral's running right next to me. And I noticed there's no one there. No, well, they, they had like eight people on, on Jarvis. Jarvis. Yeah, because like the... Odell was out. And Doral's just wide open. So that's what I got for number seven. For number six, I've got uh, from this year, the Texas game. If they finish this thing off in in the next two games, I think third and 17 will be like a, a saying. Like when yeah. you say third and 17, everybody knows what you're talking well, about. Well, you know, and this will wear out over time. But right now, everyone's like, well, Texas sucks. So who really cares? But like at the time, it was. It was huge. Yeah. And I mean, third and 17, 61 yard touchdown to Justin Jefferson. And that was our first minutes. taste yeah. we got of the yeah. LSU oh, offense. This is like, be we've how got this an goes. answer for every single thing that's about to happen. Yep. Hey, and what, that was a Derek Stingley coming out party, too. It was 45 38, the final there. So that's uh, 10 through 6. Number five, I go all the way back to 2010. Here's the one you were talking about earlier at Florida. 35 seconds left in the game. LSU's down 29-26. They set up for a 53-yard field goal. They fake it. Then you remember the review, and I was in the stadium, and Urban Meyer told the officials, because that was a forward flip, because it bounced, and Jasper picked it up, because that's a forward flip, and he did this very demonstrative first down the other way signal. And I'm up in the upper deck of Florida, and I was like, oh, no, what does he know that I don't get? That looked like a perfectly good fake to me. But they declared that it was a lateral 
and LSU goes down and hit Terrence Tolliver with six seconds to go to win 33-29. to 29. So got that really, See, I was thinking of the Domingue one where like, you know, oh, no, that was like at home. That was in like 15, yeah. 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 Right. Um, There's a lot of fakes against Florida, but yeah, nothing beats that. The the bounce right into the bread basket. Good, Jasper. Cut up the field, first down. That was a big one. Uh, twenty and number four, 2018 at Auburn. Down LSU was in that game was down 21 to 10 in the third quarter. You forget that when yeah, you think were, about and the Gus boat was race rolling. that happened. Yeah, and then Dylan goes 71 yards for a touchdown t- to get him within two. They miss a two point conversion with eight minutes left. So down two, they get the ball back with five minutes, 38 seconds left, and they go 52 yards. I didn't realize this either. That drive to set up the Tracy field goal was 10 plays. 52 yards on 10 plays to set up a 42-yarder from Tracy, which, of course, he made on the plans. We got that one number four. That was 18. Okay, so that what, that what year was it that Russell Gage had the diving catch like right before halftime, and that kind of cut the score That was at bit. home. That was the year before, so Yeah, 17. the year before, 17. Uh, number three. Uh, I, mean, I got some pushback. It should have had this one higher, but I think that the one I've got it to, to me, was something I'll never forget. Not that I'll forget 2019 at Alabama very soon. This is an incredible stat to talk about this game. Burrow in that game was 31 of 39 for 393 and three touchdowns without a pick. Clyde ran it 20 times for 103 yards and three touchdowns. So Burrow threw for three touchdowns. Clyde ran for three touchdowns. You have to go back six years to get the last six LSU touchdowns against Alabama, and they had six in that game. Right, and like combined, like yes. you can just add so them all. I, up you had, LSU had zero touchdowns in eighteen because they didn't score. On, we're on number three right yeah. now. You you're putting this game at number three, three. and they had, they had say zero touchdowns in eighteen against Bama, one in seventeen, zero in sixteen, two in fifteen, one in fourteen, and two in thirteen. From two thousand thirteen to two thousand eighteen, LSU scored six touchdowns on Bama. They did it. Burrow and Clyde did it by themselves in three hours in Tuscaloosa this year. The only bad thing about reflecting on that game is then Bo Nix went out there and like <laughs> did you know had the yeah. copycat game of it. Um, I don't but care. yeah, no, that was a, what's a two and one if that's not your if beating Bama for the first time since 2011 ain't number one. What what, so, you, got, what you got going? This for me? one is just I, I got a lot of pushback on this, but it, it really was that impressive to watch. And this is a game that I will tell my kids about. Oh, it, it was that got crazy. We... 2015 Auburn Fournette at home. Yeah. Like throwing, and it wasn't even like because I had throwing people to yeah, the stands. Like, he was flipping Auburn. Def- like, that was a decent Auburn defense. He's got guys flipping over him. He's outrunning people. The first play of the game, he goes like 70 yards down to the two. He's juking people. He runs over a guy and just leaves him in the dust right in front of the student section. Like that performance in 15 was, it wasn't statistically his best. But I've never seen a running back do I, what he did that day. I can't remember who it was, but one of the Auburn, the guy who like went over the top of him and he just flipped him yeah. into the total business decision. He's in the <laughs> NFL right now probably. He didn't because that day if you're going low on Leonard Fournette, your football was, career was, is slowing it was a, down. It was a problem. You're, yeah, you're an issue. Had, yeah, that, 228 that day. A lot three of touchdowns. big gifts uh, or you know, short clips came out of that one. I was sitting next to Charles Alexander during that game. And a friend of mine, subtle bro, a girl, yeah, well, a girl uh, that's a friend of mine was sitting there with us, and she looked back at at Charles Alexander. And she goes, "Mr. Charles, is he better than you?" Yeah. And Charles Alexander looks, goes, "He's a lot better than me." I was like, and that dude was like a, a legend at LSU when he was running the football, that played in the NFL. A, that for was rep. a great game. Yeah, that game was straight sick. steamrolling, folks. And then number one, I got for best game of the decade. I've got 2011 at Bama. Okay. That that game. I mean, this game was great. And so you like but, defense and field goals, but it was just. They were both undefeated. It just felt like the biggest game that ever been played. They were both undefeated this year. Yeah, weren't, weren't they? Yeah, they yeah. were. But it's just, um, I, I just, I never felt. Uh, and maybe it's because I didn't go to this game and I went to the one in eleven. But I've never felt like that in a stadium before. Like the stadium was full, like fifty minutes before the game started. Right. And it just felt like every play could have been the last one. Were you? Was Hunt the fan happier at this win or in twenty eleven? This one meant this one, more, this right? This one probably because the 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 monkey wasn't on your back. At that Correct, point, and it was this time around. And you're but, putting him at three. But that one, I'm just trying to get in the mind of Hunt. I know it right just now. it just the overtime. And you've got some of random it. Auburn games. We were in LSU was in control of this one. I felt like the whole game. It felt like the Texas game or a few yeah. games where they've been in a and shootout. They, and Bama never had the ball with a chance to win. That game was so like the the game in eleven was just so highly contested. One play could have been the difference. It didn't feel like that this time around. It just felt right. like we had a really good chance to win the game. I don't yeah, know. like a, the in that game too, like a big 
Michael Ford run like at the end would be like what was like eight twelve yards. It was like, right. Oh, what a what a backbreaker! Yeah. Like, you know. No, oh, yeah. I mean, it was you know, it was. So wait, what did did you get any hate? What did you leave off? Georgia from last year. It was a great game. I got I got some hate for that, and then I, I just people think that me putting that that Auburn game at two is ridiculous. Yeah, I could see why. But, <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, uh, and something like Fred Falcons in the huddle says eleven was completely tainted by the national championship game. I get yeah, that, right? But I'm talking about in the moment. You didn't pick 2011 yeah. national I championship all, game. I could have picked all. No, I did not pick that. I could have picked all the games from this year if I wanted to do that. I mean, it's you just you so. Know. Wait, what would be number one this year? Texas. Yeah, you had Texas on the list, huh? So. Yeah, I did. But I mean, I had Alabama at, in front of that. I had Texas at I think six, and I had Alabama at three from this year. I mean, this oh, year has been right. unbelievable to watch. It's just been so much, so much fun to watch this team play offense. Just been ridiculous, but that's my list. If you got questions or comments, yeah, get them in the I'll huddle. Think. Tell me I'll how jump dumb in I am. Randomly before the show's over, and be like, "Yeah, actually, give, give me something game. else that's better."